all right guys i'm back again today with another reaction video this is a buy me a coffee request and this is muslim bilal poetry love muhammad muslim unity so um we've reacted to him a couple of times before so i'm really intrigued to see um like how this is going to be because we've loved all his kind of like songs or i think we've reacted to songs we have never necessarily reacted to a poetry by him yet so before we start don't forget to subscribe click the bell button and let's go straight into this i was standing by my window as the sun goes down Looking at the sky, hear the birds make sounds, yeah. I was thinking about my life and its purpose I found. It's beautiful how I could turn it around. From my mama screaming out, turn the music down, child. I was on them streets every day, I was young and wild. I didn't find happiness in those streets, no. But in Islam, I found peace. Who would have known? I came from the ghetto, I transformed. I grew up all alone, I learned from what I saw. I lived it, survived it, not living it no more. I can live this life now, whether rich or poor. From I was on the dance floor in Atlanta. Now I'm in this holy city, Mecca, doing Umrah. I was in a street gang, practically a gangster. Now I'm in this brotherhood, this Islamic Ummah. Thinking about the things I woulda and coulda done if it wasn't for shahada on my tongue. Faith in my heart and my mind getting guided. Guided from the street lifestyle, I was blinded. Nobody there to tell me what was wrong and right. I was doing sins from the sunset to sunrise. Walking with my eyes closed, Allah opened up my eyes. Walking with my eyes closed, Allah opened up my eyes. Now I'm trying to get Fajr in before the sunrise. Who Allah guide, no one can misguide. Who will our misguide? Nobody can guide. This life is a journey. Got a team coming for the ride. Shout out to the angels on my left and my right side. And they say it's time for a companion. You need to get married, bro. Be wise with your decision. Marry for the dean. You don't want a glamorous supermodel. You just want your queen to be simple and humble. I remember that money isn't everything. I'm like, if that's the case, why spend 20,000 on the wedding? Diamond for the ring and a car for the dowry. Like, my idea of marriage is just like, if you really, 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 really like the person, why do you have to show off to thousands and hundreds of people that, oh, I'm wearing this beautiful dress, like, just sign a freaking piece of paper and do the things that you love together, maybe travel together as a symbolism of your marriage but not like invite people that you don't even know yes maybe we can invite a small group of people uh, family and friends but this extravagant weddings that cost millions and stuff i'm like you're just wasting your money you know you could have built a house together uh maybe travel together uh save it for children's in the future compared to one night or one day of what it all seems pretty extravagant to me i don't remember none of this from the books that i read don't remember none of this from the videos i've seen please don't take no offense to what i scream but i'm not in love with your culture i'm in love with the dean anyway let's go back to the pathway there's many routes to jana why do we choose the hard way allah gave instructions why do we do it our way it's only gonna lead to destruction on the last day and the last day is what brought me to this place when I was sitting watching videos, you should have seen the look up on my face. I was learning about creation, mankind and jinn. I remember saying, hold on, what's a jinn? I'm listening. I said, so there's more to this life. We're not alone in this world. We're not alone in this world. There's a world of the unseen. What do you mean? So when I'm walking in my bathroom, something could be in there. Sleeping in my bed at night, something could be in my bed. Driving in, a lo in my car alone, something could be on the other chair. This was the first thing that got brother MB scared. And I'll never forget the words that that sister said. She said, there's one inside the body and it's messing with her head. And it's speaking through her mouth and it's controlling her behavior. We need to hold her down, read Quran and do some Rukia. Allah protect us. 
May Allah protect her. Ask Allah to protect me. This religion he sent me, saved me. I'm not a kid no more, I've got my own baby. Her name's Samaya and she'll soon be a lady. And I only want the best for her. Don't make her have to see the things I've seen. I walk down the same road that her dad's been. Help me guide her and raise her on Dean. But it's amazing when I look at where I am today. This ain't what I was raised amongst I called is the chosen way. I used to go into my church every Sunday. Mama's cooking rice and peas, listening to reggae. I was a typical black boy, typical black household, walking with my jeans low, face like I own the road. Before there was no hope, I used to make a lot of dough. Ask me about Islam or Allah, I say I don't know. A few books, a few months, a lot of reading. A new season, it brings a new way of thinking. I reason what a Muslim is speaking. I listen, I smile because of the beauty I found in this religion. This is what was missing, the final piece of the puzzle. This was starting to make sense now. Before it was all muddled, I was stuck in the jungle. Blind like a bat, now I see quite clear. It's Allah, thank for that. He brought me the facts, now the boy from the flats is the boy who lay his head down on the mat. Simple as that. And now that I found Islam, inshallah, I'ma never turn back. Cause I was on the outside looking in, ghetto child lingering. Thinking should I take it now, the thoughts were just wavering. Will it make my daddy proud? What am I gonna say to him? Can I go back to my house, mommy, I'm a Muslim. How's she gonna take it down? How are they gonna take it in? Will I end up kicked out? Will I get a kick in? I don't know what to do, I gotta plan my next move. I wanna take your heart soon, but really gotta think it through. So what's right for me, I have to do. I live for me and not for you. I don't believe that is true. The things I read up in the news, it's my choice, I'ma choose. I ain't got nothing to lose. This is the religion, the truth. Read the books, found the proof. Ismail came to me, sat me down and say to me, what's your purpose in life? It just was like a game to me. I would think occasionally, Ismail is right. I need to fix up my life tonight, could be my last night. So just before the summer year 2002, my mind's already had a wonder, now it's time to make a move. I made my way down to the stews where I link up with my crew. Sitting on a single chair, running my fingers through my hair. I said, yo, it's your Phil, it's your older brother here. Thankfully he says, yeah, it's my yo was downstairs. He'll be up in a minute. He's having a word with his mother. When he comes up, I tell him I want to take my shahada. He looks at me and smiles. I stand up, receive a hug. He said, I see you as a friend no more. I look at you like a brav. Now I can feel the love, no longer feeling lost. He said, take off your cross, let's take a drive to New Cross. I met my uncle Yasser and his brothers from all over. They said, it's time to leave the ghetto life way over your shoulder. I said, let illaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There's no true God except Allah. Muhammad is his messenger. Now I ain't going to church no more. I'm going Jumma. Friday, Stretta Mosque, Mumtaz and the Khutbah. I wanted to get the front row. I had to get there early. He read the prayer in Arabic. I understood it barely. I really got to learn this quick. Let me get myself a teacher. Then I went to Egypt so I could learn the language better. I was feeling all emotional. Let me write my mum a letter. In Egypt, feeling lonely, wanted to find myself a lover. I tried to get married, I suffered a bit of racism. He said she couldn't be with me because my parents were Jamaican. I said, hey, but I still pray and I fast in Ramadan. He said, no daughter of mine will be marrying a black man. I said, okay, cool, I'ma make the R for you. And you know what, brother, let's make the R for me too. I'm just happy I'm a Muslim that came from them streets to Islam. The ghetto, when I see my brother give a palm, embrace with a hug and greet with salam. Salamu alaikum. And my mum always tried her best to make sure her son was focused. My mum always had a smile no matter how slow I progress. And mum would always say, that's my son, he's the best. And mum never let me forget that his life was just a test. But I was raising Christianity, I used to go to church. Mum would drop me off to school, then she'd rush off to work. And mum saw her son change when I turned 19. But she still loved me the same when I converted to this teen. She just started asking questions. Son, why you do that? I say, mum, sit with me, watch a DVD of Ahmed D that. And slowly but surely, mama recognised the truth and appreciate the changes that I've made since my youth. But she knew I was flying away, she wanted to spend the day together. This is our moment, we went mosque, even prayed together. It was enough to make me smile, look at my mum with a hair cover. And then she broke the news, she wanted to take her shahada. I said, Allahu Akbar, is obviously, I love Allah the most in this dunya. And then I love the Prophet and his sunnah. But after my love for Islam, comes the love for my mother. And I told my mother, if I die, I don't cry. Just pray for me at my janazah. Why? I believe in a life that goes on beyond the sky. I'm just trying to get there while I'm here still alive. And yeah, I'm surprised. I didn't think that I would be able to lead the things that I've done before. But I now they see me in the street. They say, Bilal, how's it going? I reply, Alhamdulillah, it's going fine. The grass is greener on the other side. These women are more cleaner and these men are more polite. I love my new family. I love my new life. See, now I can smile even if I die tonight. But if I die tonight, tell my mother, don't cry. Pray for me at my janazah. Why? I believe in a life that goes on beyond the sky. I'm just trying to get there while I'm here still alive. When they asked me my religion, I told them I'm a Muslim. 
But am I a Muslim in Allah's eyes? Will I get to join the party, the party of victory and celebrate the victory in paradise? Or will they forget me, leave me with the enemy? Will I be the memory that gets left behind? Resurrected, blind, cause I turn a blind eye I didn't wanna know then, now I'm wondering why I have to watch them celebrate in fine attire Well I feel the rage of the burning fire Allah forbid, Allah forbid, Allah forbid We're not one of those kids So I'm up early in the morning before the sunrise Get out of my bed, wipe the sleep from my eyes Go to the bathroom, make my ablution Pray my to the cat, see me down in prostration Talk to Allah, remember him And he'll remember us, if we forget him He might forget us now look at us, we're sitting there, we're humble, subhanAllah. His name's Muhammad, his name's Zachariah. Because we feel the Iman, but when we leave, it's like it goes. Zachariah turned to Zach and watch Muhammad turn to Mo. And Bilal turned to Billy, going crazy in the city. Partying on Saturday and Mo's coming with me. And Zach's meeting us there, he's coming with Pfizer and Samira. The angel's watching over because our time's getting nearer. Zach's drinking alcohol, Samira's got no hijab. The angel writes it down, good Muslims doing bad. And we leave thinking we're going home, pat up in one car. Hey Samira, turn the music loud, Mo driving real fast. The angel waits patient for Allah to get a command and then he does crash, die with no iman. Fair Allah, I'd like you to be fair that day could be today. Are we prepared and die not unless we die in a state of submission to get to paradise is the mission. You see, I came from them streets to Islam, the ghetto, when I see my brother give a palm. Embrace with a hug and greet with salam. Salamu alaikum. Brother, do you want for me what you want for yourself? Brother, you pray Allah gives me strength and health. Brother, you gossip about me like I'm a star. Brother, you love me feasibly. Brother, you want for me when you want for yourself. Brother, you pray Allah gives me strength and health. Brother, you forget about me because I'm far. Brother, you love me feasibly. Walking with his head down, books under his arm. Reciting his favorite words from the Quran. As time goes around so soon. Yeah, this time goes around so soon. What teeny was a tune? What to receive? What the baladilla mean? Seen from them disbeliever as a stranger, seen as the one that brings terror and danger, but he just wants to focus on his dean. Head down, trying to focus on his dean. Thank you, it's been a pleasure entertaining you. I just hope this benefited you the way it's meant to. I took you on a journey, gave the story of my life. And I may not get to tell this story again after tonight. Because this could be a good night, but it's been a good night. And if I pass this test, I say it's been a good life. I'm glad I put things right. I was on a bad path. Now I like to make guzzle in my bath and wrap my head up with a scarf. I like a nice faux duffer and a sleeveless puffer. And my trousers above the ankles. But there's problems in this dunya and I'm seeing the angles clear. I'm in my 12th year, so this is like a 12 year old inspiring his peers, should I even be here? We could trade places and you could take the chair, and please don't cheer, don't clap, and please don't compare me to rap, because I am just a speaker, I speak in the language of the youth, I understand them, I've been through what most of them been through, but now I'm on the stage with a different ambition, like Malcolm, I'm a man on the mission, made the transition, thank you very much for listening. Yes, Salaamu Alaikum Rahmatullah. Well, that was a very um, inspiring, especially the fact that it's in a poetic format. And also it did give us his, it's like a, his life story in 11 minutes, to be honest. His life story in 11 minutes. Like if I sat here and tried to tell you my life story in 11 minutes, I would never be able to do that. So the mere fact that he can, and it's in a poetic way as well, it's just pure talent. And I do feel the authenticity in all the things that he was saying. It really came from like a very genuine part of him. And uh, it also will make you question a lot about yourself, of course, right? About your belief, about the, your actions. So that is very strong. Like his message is very, very, very strong. So this is like a beautiful role model to everyone not just kids but everyone um so i do like what he does so far we've been a huge fun so thank you for recommending this and um, there's a lot of questions that i have of course especially the gins and what else what else 
I, I did have some questions when he was like speaking but i didn't want to interject uh as well but then i forgot so here we are so about the gin though we did react to some but there's a, something that he said that there's also some within us that is something that we have to research about as well so thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye